Hey guys, thank you for watching. This is Breaking Burke. It is my YouTube channel about houseplants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. In today's video, I wanted to share with you a bit of a propagation. Now, I'm propagating this for a couple of reasons. One, obviously to have more plants. Two, uh, I normally wouldn't do this for something that I paid this much money for and it has some size on it, but if you can see, most of the leaves are damaged. Even the new leaf got stuck and is looking weird. And then it just yellowed on this one. So I don't want a plant that's gonna be bald on the lower half, looking like a tree. Uh, and if we look here closely, you can see these other nodes are actually looking like they're starting to be activated too. There's another one here in the back, you can see right there, a nice bright green. So I think this is a perfect candidate to propagate. Uh, pretty basic, it is a philodendron like most of my plants, so you do want to cut it at the... Uh, between the node and the aerial root, you want to make sure every section has one. So I think what we're going to do here is start at the bottom. And I think... Am I going to be all the way brutal? Yeah, might as well. We're just gonna chop it at the very bottom. Okay, now that doesn't look like much. You can see the original chunk that it grew from, and then it does have a couple nodes turning up before uh, there's anything, and there won't be any growth in this for a while. So I can take the pole out because it's not going to need it. And it's a good thing it has a name tag. So I remember what it is. Now, here's this. What do we do with this now that I chopped it off? Well, you can see down here, there's a couple of nodes before uh, this section here. So what I'm going to do is take it down here. And then here again on this other side. Now, right here, if I pull this back slightly, you can see there's a nice healthy uh, root coming in there. So I want to make sure I can save all the roots I can. See right there, it's actually growing under the leaf. Hopefully you can see it. So see where I'm going to chop right there? And then this one will be the same. We'll take this one. Sometimes on these you got to pull the leaves down a little to get your scissors down in there where you need them. And between the aerial roots we'll just chop it there. And this last one, of course, we're going to have to spread the leaf from the stem, just like we did on the last propagation. And right there should be good. This one I'm going to leave like that. It does have the top leaf that probably is either going to die or come out looking ugly. So this is the whole reason... I'm chopping it up is because it wasn't doing great to begin with, but you can see there are aerial roots. There's a nice healthy red one there. And this should have right there, you can see that little bump right there. That is actually a dormant node, so even if this leaf on top dies, this one here, it'll pop out the side there. So I do have a glass here. I have tons of different shapes and sizes of jars for propagation. And I barely put a little bit of water in there because I know I'm going to have small leaf sections like this. It's a pretty tattered leaf, but you can see there are uh, aerial roots. There is a little piece of fiber sticking off there that I should probably chop off because that's just going to rot. It's not going to do anybody no good. I 
can get it. Okay. And then it should be grown from here when it does. The one thing I did think was pretty cool about this too, Lucy, the back of the petiole, the stem that holds up the leaf, how it's uh, almost fringed or ribbon-like, similar to Monstera Deliciosa, but this is the whole half of the stem down is like that, which I thought was pretty cool. Here's another section. Some nice roots on it. And since it, this is a philodendron, it should propagate just as easy as the others. And this one here you can actually see the activated node. This I could probably try and chop up into two, but I think I'm going to leave well enough alone and just leave it as is. If I get two little plants coming out of one stem, it's perfectly okay with me. This one again too, you can see there's multiple nodes. There's aerial roots there, aerial roots there, there, and there. So, I think since I do see a little node activated there, let's see if we can, there we go, right there. I'm going to see if I can isolate that and put that in a propagation box that I have. And that should be plenty. So there we go. We have the little piece there. And this also does have a few nodes. So this little leaf here should throw out a couple plants or a couple vines of a plant. And then we have this little tiny dude here that does actually have an activated node on it so I'll throw this in the prop box that gets high humidity it should be fine uh, I did take off all the little tiny bits of uh, leaf sheath so it doesn't rot in the water and I'll leave these in here for I don't know probably about two weeks that's what I usually do and you can see I left a little piece of sheath floating in there so you want to make sure you get all that out because that will cause rot uh, but yeah, two weeks in here, if they don't start to grow roots, then I'll put them in my prop box. But preferred method of propagation is always first water for me because that's what works best for me. Uh, I will keep you updated with a update video on the roots and when I pot them up. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Uh, just in case I didn't mention it, it is Philodendron Mammy like you've seen on the tag here. So, in case anyone was wondering, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.